Hello peeps, this is the Hillbilly half here today again and today we're going to have a chat about being awake or being woke and what consequences it is for you. Now, if you don't know, for the last four months I started doing these videos every day about the various corruption in Wales and now we're starting to do a bit more in the UK uh, because of the attack on farming and since I've been doing these videos it's really opened my eyes to what is happening to things. Now, if you're a woke person these days, you are all for loads of these alphabet people and everything against the normal folk, really, or against your family. That's what I consider to be woke these days. Anti-family, really, isn't it? Anti-common sense. Now, if you're awake, as I call it, you're awake to everything and you look at everything. Now, I consider myself to be awake. Now, when you do become awake, you look at everything in a completely different way and you will never look at things ever again the same because you realize you're all being manipulated all the time. Now, but the trouble is though, when you do see things like that, it's not all, it, it's quite hard work because people who see things the other way then, you'll suddenly find you'll be not invited to things or you won't go on your, <laughs> put you on the messenger or whatever, which doesn't affect me because I'm not like that anyway. So I don't like going on to these things. But what you'll find is, uh, the more you say that is true, the people will not put you on these chats or in these groups or whatever. So it's, it's hard work if you are, like that now. If you are one of them people who likes being with in the 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 big group or whatever, because you will get shunned. You will get shunned. And the people with power in the UK, especially at the moment, are the people, I call them the weeds and the bullies, really. They were weeds in school, but they've turned into the bullies. And if their narrative is different to what yours is, they will do everything in their power to stop you saying what you want or doing what you want. Now, one of the big new ways of doing this, uh, when you're in school, you got bullied, you, I had it a bit myself. I had a cousin giving me, bullying me for years in school. And uh, the only way you learned how to deal with it is just to fight back and uh, that's how it is. Even a person who's stronger than you, if they know they're gonna get a clout and you're not gonna give up, it's a, it does stop then. But you've gotta learn not to be walked over. And once you start speaking your mind in real life, it's similar. But these days, instead of doing what they used to do, the modern way is to be shunned and uh, things like that. So, for instance, if you was in a group of your friends that you've been in for ages, you'll usually find that the, the most nice person there, they, or the most popular person, to start these groups on Messenger or whatever, and the group chats, and they'll leave out people they don't like. And then they'll talk about these people in that chat, and then that person won't get invited onto the chat, like you or me or whatever. That's how it works. Now, for a person like myself, I don't go into these chats on purpose. If I'm invited into a chat on anything, on metal detecting groups or anything, I do not go on there. I literally go on there, find the directions, and go straight back off there because I don't like it. I do not like certain people deciding who can be in the gang or not. That is not my thing. If I'm in a group of people, I'm in with them all, and it doesn't matter what they think. Now, modern day is like that, especially for, for kids and children. They have to be in these groups. And in school and university, if you think differently, lots of people self-censor themselves so they don't uh, be shunned. That's what happens. And when you decide to be awake, like I tell you, you forget all that and you don't give a toss. And you either have your friends that you've had for years like I always say, you have about five really good friends in your life that'll always stick with you, even if 
because they just believe you to be friends and even though they don't believe maybe believe what you think now modern days having friends who aren't really friends i think i consider it you're they're just there really and modern social media is there to self-censor you so if you want to say something you've got to be very careful what you say like i have to on youtube now or you'll be removed so you self-censor yourself now if you're smart like i am on YouTube now, you have to learn to work within these rules as you can't, no other platform is like YouTube. Facebook a lot, they'll just remove you instantly. Uh, however much sometimes I don't like YouTube, I tried quite a few others now over the last few months and there, there's none of them anywhere near to it. So as most of you know, I don't make any money. So this is just to get in the, the word out there. Once you get awake to everything that happens, and you'll see it, it'll just happen. You'll suddenly open your eyes and go, oh my God, this is all an illusion. Where they're creating arguments with each other to set the two sides on each other. And all of us in the middle, I've got to pick a side then. That's what it's all about. Now, when you become awake, you see this thing in everyday life all the time. And you can either keep your mouth shut or you say something. I, especially in the last four months because of the farming protest, I've decided to say something. Now, with that becomes problems because, <laughs> like I say, some people don't like it. They don't like you telling the truth. And then if you're in a group of people, uh, they won't talk to you. But when you're on your own, these people come over to you and they'll say, I believe exactly as you do, like I did in, had on Carnival Night the other, the other week. Lots of people will not say in public what they believe in private. They are scared to say it. That is the objective. Now, I know I've rambled on for seven minutes on this, but I'm going to keep going on this because once you get to this point like I am now, you don't care. You just don't care because you know it's right. Now, we're all being manipulated constantly all the time. Now, I suggest to anybody out here, probably lots of you are already, but if you starve yourself of the normal mainstream media news, I really watch it unless I want to find out what they're on about. Now, the reason I watch it is to find out what they're lying about, but I don't watch it, God, maybe five minutes a day, if that's it, just to keep a check on what's going on. But lots of people think all this is real. They think all this media stuff is real. And they get taken in by it, they're terrified. And uh, like I said, they're afraid to say what they really think. That's what the problem is, really. That's why our country's going down the path. Now, if you think at the moment, we had an election about two or three weeks ago, there isn't really anything different, is there? We got some rioting and things that have been, I think have been manipulated. But in reality, there is no difference to your life, only you're gonna get taxed more by this group than the other group. <laughs> uh, I think the, the politics in the UK and the West has been taken over by a cabal of two parties pretending to be different when they're actually the same anybody who's slightly different and I will put Corbyn and Farage and Boris into that there's faults with them all but when they're slightly different and they're not controllable they get removed that's how it all works now whatever you think of Corbyn or Boris or Trump or whatever they cannot be controlled because they are a bit similar thinking to us with some things not in others that's why they get full on attacks happening to him. Farage is now again, isn't he? He's trying to push him into being far right. He's got plenty of faults, don't get me wrong. But at the moment, he's probably best of a bad bunch in the UK for now. But like I said, I don't trust any of them. So um, be aware, be awake, don't be woke.
that's all I can say. And from what I see in the comments, it's really nice to see people. Like I say, we don't all agree on everything, but I don't, I don't really, I don't hate anybody. If you don't agree with me, you don't agree with me. And if I don't agree with you, I don't agree with you on a certain subject, but we agree on 95% of stuff, don't we? So there's no point of falling out with each other. So um, thanks for commenting and subscribing. Uh, really means a lot. We've had a quite a few, it'd be nice to get to 6,000 now in a, before long. I'm nearly at 5,500 subscribers. So I've got quite a positive feeling about this channel. I know I might not get my monetization, but it's nice to get the word out there, isn't it? So all the best, Gaz.